Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. Happy Fan Cells Friday to you all. Um, so the week before last I did an unboxing that was sort of tool storagey type things. I have a couple of themed-ish ones are coming up. Um, but today is <clears throat> the C word. These are all things that may or may not, but may, more than likely may, spark your interest um, for the festive season. I don't know if it's quite early to actually spit out the word Christmas, but hey-ho, I've done it now. So I have three items along that theme to unbox and share with you today. So I'm going to start with the one that we can see because it is on the top. There are loads of different varieties of these but this is the one that caught my interest. Oh we have the bag as well as the box but this is a hanging decoration and I chose some snowmen, so it is on acrylic, it is only one sided, so we are white on the other side. And you basically put all your shiny diamonds in all these places, and then you do get a chain so that you can hang it up. So where are the holes? And there's one here, and then there's one over here. Um, but you can then hang it up on a front door, on a wall, over one of those back of the door hooks, wherever you fancy adding a little bit of a Christmas sparkle. You do get a toolkit and of course your chain. This one I think is all standard rhinestones, but let's have a look. Let's confirm. We have some gorgeous colours though, so we have blue and red, we have sort of a, a creamy colour, I'd say. It's not brown, it's not quite yellow. It may be more of a grey slash cream. We have turquoise, pink, couple of nice greens, dark green, light green, lime green. Some silver for the snowmen. We've got some yellowy gold, some more burnt yellow purple or we do have some little teardrop ones that are a different shape where do those go what symbol are those f i don't know where they're looking for the sim oh they go in the tree i don't know how i miss those but they go in the christmas tree and then the rest of the diamonds go on the snowmen. There are, it is a partial, so the snowmen's faces, or snowmen, snow people, his faces aren't covered and neither are the shoes, but apart from that, the rest pretty much has diamonds all over it. Because we like a bit of sparkle at Christmas time. So that was number one. Number two. I need scissors so I can get in it. Let's try and cut it not through the bubbles, see if that'll be a little bit easier for me. Which one's in this one? There's a few different Christmas themed things coming up. Oh yes, they have quite a few of these as well. Christmas glasses. So it is on like a very, very a thin plastic, but still quite thick. Um, they are just attached to these plastic frames, but you can have snowman eyes with diamond painting. There is so many things they have brought out um, this Christmas that you will find some form of sparkle that you can add to your own Christmas decorations, but we do get a toolkit. Don't know why I held that up to the camera for so long because that was not required. We have four colours, so I'm not going to pull them out of the packet because we have red, we have black, we have orange, and then we have silver. 
which is, oh, get hold of it, red, black, silver will be the snowman and orange for the nose. And you can create yourself a wacky a pair of glasses for that Christmas party that you're going to. So that's number two. And then number three. Oh, oh yes. Say, there's a few different Christmas things and I wasn't sure what was in each bag but this is a Christmas tree so it's again all pieces of acrylic they are only single-sided but we have a thinner piece of acrylic that is a Christmas tree then we have what goes on the Christmas tree which is like a snowflake bauble and that gets attached with the string so it will dangle from there and then you have a stand that you then put said Christmas tree into so that it can go on the side and have your little snowflake dangling I thought that was so fun again there are a few different ones of these that's probably what took me the most time this time was which one do I fancy because a part of me wanted them all. Um, the base does get decorated as well because you can't have enough sparkle at Christmas, to be honest. We do have what looks like a piece of sticky. I'm guessing that's in case any of it loses its sticky. But it all looks very well and sticky to me. They're all covered in clear coat. And then we have got a few different types of diamonds for this one. So they are all special diamonds. So let's start from the smaller ones. So we have some deep blue. We have some white pearl type diamonds. Uh, red rhinestones, yellow rhinestones, silver. Oh, they're very silver, very sparkly silver rhinestones. Then we do have a couple of lots of the blue rhinestones because of the tree that I've chosen. So it will do the background here. Then we have some different shapes. So we have like a yellowy silver, we have some gold, and we have a couple of different sizes of a darker blue, yellow stars, and some very big and some oval blues, and then some little silver as well. So quite a few different places that take the different ones. So we've got the bulk of that blue in the middle, and then we do have an outline which looks to be the darker blue all the way around the outside then we do have some different shapes and this is a mixture of some different colored rhinestones and some different shaped rhinestones to create the little ribbon and baubles on the tree and then to create this at the top as well and then the snowflakey type bauble piece um, is a little bit more partial, not quite as full of diamonds, but still all the way around the outside and to make up the snowflake. And then we fully decorate the bottom with all those blues again, but then a mixture around the outside and a mixture down the middle. And then we've got the piece of string, as I say, to tie it up and a piece of what looks like tape, double-sided tape in case it's needed. Who knows if it will be needed? I doubt it, looking at, at what we've got, but that is the Christmas selection for today. But as I say, even if you like the likes of this tree, there are loads of different types that will probably fit maybe your colour scheme or your taste. There are loads of different ones on the website. Also, glasses. There's loads of funky glasses. It's not just snowmen. Uh, it does feel as though I've ended up with more snowmen things. Um, there's also different plaques that you can hang as well. I chose the snowman family because they were cute. Same with the glasses, really. I think I actually chose them at different times. So this was one of the first and I think this was nearer the end. But I spent that long on the site looking at Christmas stuff. I, yeah, 
I kind of got a little bit lost in there. So if you do go uh, click on any of the links, I'll put the links to the individual specific items on there. But you can always use some of the search terms to find some more or just have a browse at the new arrivals and the um, crafts section. So the sort of what I call off the canvas, but I think they put it under crafts on the website, if I remember rightly. In fact, let me have a quick look. If I click on one of these, why is it not opening? Oh, there we go. Let's try that. What do they call it? Ah, uh, DIY diamond crafts. It was crafts. Um, if you go on there, then you can filter by section, so you can have a look at all the options that are available. But I hope it's not too early. I feel like we need to get these orders in because we could spend a lot of time making pretty sparkly things um, to decorate our house with come December. But thank you so much for watching. There will be another Christmas reveal in a few weeks. Um, I might slip something in there for the for the non, you know, either non-celebrators or those that already have their decorations sorted. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.